Hi everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson, and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 42. This week, we're gonna be working in Photoshop on restoring an old photograph. So this photo is probably, I'm guessing, from the mid-1950s, and it's creased and damaged in quite a few places. So I'm gonna teach you how we're gonna to touch it up and enhance it back to the original image. So there's many ways that you can import this image into your computer. A lot of people will use um, scanners. Um, what I'm gonna do is I am going to photograph it. So um, I'm, as you can see here, you wanna photograph it with diffused lighting. So here you have it. We now have the image open in Photoshop. We have rotated it and um, and saved it and then closed it and then reopened it. Just so if our if we need to go back in the history with the history brush, you can do that. Remember that if you crop or change the image in any way, you cannot use your history eraser tool. So right now I have it on a fast speed because this image took altogether about 45 minutes to do all the edits and I've tried to speed it up so this Tuesday's tip isn't so long. So right now we're taking the patch tool and we're cleaning up all the areas that are really easy to fix. So as you can see, we're going through and cleaning up the lines, the, the creases in the paper that have been created over time. As you can see there, there's some damage to his tie and we'll be fixing that in a few minutes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste an area of the tie and then put it over top of the area that's been damaged. Very easy. We're going to flatten the image there and uh, we're going to continue on with the patch tool. Okay, so now we're going to zoom out. You can see this gentleman's jacket, the tear in the paper has gone right through. So what we're doing is we're copying and pasting a section of his jacket and then putting it over top of the damaged um, photograph. So we're going to duplicate the layer there. We're going to keep duplicating and um, take the eraser, erase around the collar and on the other gentleman's jacket and uh, they're starting to look better. So now what we're gonna do is uh, again erase around this collar here. So now what we're gonna do is just take the clone stamp and just clone around these areas. So as you can see, this is a very time consuming project and not a lot of clients realize the workload that goes into touching up these images. So just this image to restore it took about 45 minutes. So if any of your clients are wondering um, why it's so expensive to touch up an image, you might want to show them this video and the work that is involved in the retouching. So right now, again, we're doing the patch tool going all over and uh, and fixing it anywhere that needs it. I'm just going to keep moving it around. I know this is a long video. I apologize, guys. I'm trying to, uh, to speed it up as fast that I can. Then we're using the clone stamp there to fix that uh, little spot. So now on the ground, we're just going to touch up the ground there, take out all these marks. The patch tool is quite an amazing tool. Some people do use the healing brush as well, but uh, I just find that the patch gives such an amazing um, restoration. So I'm going to get these last ones here. Okay, zoom out. And uh, we're going to leave this gentleman's face till the end. We're just going to patch tool a little bit of it. And we'll come back to this after because it's quite um, difficult to do this. Um, this is easy getting his hair done and stuff, but we're going to leave his face till the very end. Um, this we're going to copy and paste a part of her shirt, put it over top of the, um, the image there that's been torn away. Okay, so we're just going to duplicate these layers, flatten the image, and then we'll go back and, uh, and clone around and after. 
Okay, so the three main tools that I like to use are the patch tool, the clone stamp, and the marquee. Right now, we just marqueed her face. Um, we did edit copy, edit paste, we flipped the image, and then free transformed it to bring it in. And um, see, as you can see, her face was still a little bit thinner in the natural. So we're going to erase around everywhere but where the line was. And uh, it's pretty amazing, this technology, my goodness. So now we've flattened the image and what we're gonna do is we're gonna liquefy her eye and bring it, uh, bring it down and over just a little bit so it looks more natural. Fix her hair. So again, sorry, the main tools that I use are uh, liquefy, the patch tool, the clone stamp, and the marquee tool for copying and pasting um, faces and flipping them over or copying and pasting parts of jackets that uh, that the um, clone stamp or the um, patch tool just can't do. So the patch tool I use so often. I really hope you guys get a chance to mas master this tool. It's not very hard to do at all and uh, it's so easy. So now we're going to move on now her jacket, we're going to copy and paste another section of her jacket, free transform it so it fits, erase around, and then we're going to adjust the curves to make it a little bit darker and fit in there. Perfect. Then we're going to flatten the image. We're going to get rid of that piece right there. And uh, it's looking pretty good. So now we're just going to clone around her cheekbone here, just make it really natural around her eye and just around her jacket okay the patch tool again this gentleman's hair the patch tool works phenomenal this is CS5 that we're using so I just saved it and that's what you want to do is make sure that you keep saving your work because there'd be nothing worse than working on an image and then having Photoshop close. That would be awful. So keep saving your work as you um, as you're going. Okay. So the patch tool, we're cleaning up his pants here. the foot around the feet I wish I could work this fast <laughs> oh, okay so we're down to the final um, the final last things to be fixed here so we're gonna copy and paste his jacket section and then put it over top free transform it so that you can't see that line anymore. Yeah, there it is. Move it over. Then we're going to take our eraser tool and just erase around there. Oh. So we're going to go back in our history. There you go. Okay, then we're going to flatten the image and we're going to clone stamp, make it all natural, get rid of any of the white spots that are left. Okay, there you have it. It's looking pretty good. So all we have is these lines over here. Pretty easy to fix. It's very tedious uh, doing these images, like trying to get everything uh, perfect. There you go. We got to go back in our history. So that's uh, that's where sometimes the um, the patch tool doesn't work. Want to work too well, and you'll have to go back in your history and and retry it again. So we still have to clean up his ear, so we're going to zoom in after we take care of all these areas. And um, it's looking good. Okay, so let's zoom in here. Just get these first. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to have to take our uh, clone stamp. And you don't want your opacity too high, but you don't want it too low when you're copying the background. So um, we're in the 20s there, which is good. Okay. 
So now, guys, all we have left is this gentleman's uh, face and a last few last minute details. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy his eye, feather it, paste it, transform it, flip horizontally and free transform it. So it looks natural there. And then we're going to erase around. Okay, it's looking good. So now we have his cheek. So we're going to take this side of his cheek. We're going to uh, copy and paste and then transform. We're going to flip it. And then we're just going to erase around there. Now we're going to take the clone stamp and just perfect it. Just smooth it all out. Okay, smooth out his cheek there. So there you have it. Here is the before image um, and the after. I just want to say thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. For all you YouTube subscribers, please join us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Vine Images Inc. And all of you watching this link from Facebook, it'd be great if you could subscribe to us on YouTube so you get each and every Tuesday's tip as soon as they're out. So I just, again, want to thank you so much and we will talk to you soon. Have a great week, guys. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.